a while ago I read this spiritual book that said my mission in life is to find a way to adequately combine the practical and the ideal and I see that as a major theme in my life I'm very big on ideals and along the way I've incorporated them wrong and I'm trying to find the perfect way to put my ideals out there and Westboro Baptist Church is something I identify with because they too are struggling with this and in the ways I've emulated them I am deciding to change because I don't believe their approach is right they have some good ideas believe it or not interestingly in the book addicted to hate it says Fred Phelps and by extension his church is very perfectionist and that is idealism a lot of people think perfectionism is a good thing an unqualified good thing for example I had a job interview and the person asked me what is your biggest weakness I said perfectionism and she said that's a weakness a lot of people think of perfectionism as striving to do the best but that's not all there is to it it is this rigid clinging that everything has to be perfect 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 and it's out of touch with reality because the world is never going to be perfect so you're driving yourself insane it's not that it's bad to try to be good it's not that it's bad to try to bring out the best but it's insane to try to be perfect and that's what Westboro is doing it's having these unrealistic standards there are different ways that idealistic people can approach the world and some are very prog problematic Westboro Baptist Church approaches the world in a certain way through their idealism they have one of the most intense and extreme forms of idealism I have ever seen it's like this perfect form of Plato of idealism it's this perfect form of hate now some people say idealism often leads to hate I was listening to this spiritual audio tape by I believe the person's Marianne Williamson or something like that and she was saying the Nazis were idealist and indeed they were because they had this notion of purity whenever you have purity it's often idealism and it can lead to terrible things so what are the ways idealistic people can approach the world one way that we can consider is isolation some people with strong ideas don't want to take part in the world they have these notions that they think they'll be polluted and corrupted think of people like the Amish they're perfectly content they don't have a problem with us they don't cause problems for us we don't interfere with them they want to be separate that's how they view their isolation this is very different than Westboro of course because Westboro